Welcome back. To the House of Sticks. And a slight change to the case as well. Mr. Kessel? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept the settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. We get the case file. There's got to be more in these files. So there's quite a bit on these actually. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Right. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Doubt. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. And how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. You really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. <laughs> Love that. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happen. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Truth. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. 
That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lexman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lexman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lechtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. Hmm. The address, not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. Told you it was going to take a bit of a funny turn, so we're a private investigator now. around his nose. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis... This is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of the it. beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into is it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money. Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. And the rat is officially the smelled. Confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. If he didn't smell a rat before, he does now. What the hell? Your car, Mr. Kelso. Don't have a radio. Please don't. Oh, I can hold to skip. Lovely. Uh, okay, so yeah, this case links back to the first newspaper uh, that you have. Well, I think the first time that you met meet Elsa in the blue room, where she's been injected by um, the doc, and you've got uh, Roy Earl strutting in the place. During that traffic case, I believe. Don't forget in the market. Don't really feel like driving too, too far. And hopefully. And see what else we can find. But yeah, this is going to have radio all the way through it in it. Okay, so whenever I get into and out of the car, turn the radio on. Oh, excuse me, turn the music down, I should say. Also, if you've been gathering all the other cars, Jax is probably the last one that you're going to get and get the trophy. Uh, That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. All time for Someone is cutting corners.
bulldozing and starting again. But why? Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Hey, you just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter and- You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Not getting. <sighs> Need his hat. Oh, and I forgot options, sound, music. That should be fine. place falls down and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Try to piece this together. That's not right. Are you lifted up? They don't quite fit. You started out the bottom. Of them. Keystone Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? That's happened. thought we were starting to get on. Seriously, that was not to do a headshot. Wow.
That was just turn around and hope to sh uh, hope to shoot the. <laughs> That's the fastest headshot I've ever done. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Right. Back to the car and off we go. He wants a five star goddamn whip. The good thing is, I don't need a partner. In we go and hold and boom. Boy, howdy. He sure can play these drums. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. The housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Not a problem. Situation. Here's a point. I, I was right. Oh, man. That's one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. This is where their lumber comes from? Gotta be something else around here. Wonder what's left in the buildings. I know these, but that I was right there. A 
Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. Game well or a telephone. That is a lot of cheddar. But that is also how a lot of people got very wealthy. Operator, think you could put me through to police dispatch? Thanks. Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson? Are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? 
help. It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Au revoir, Mr. Kerzo. Thanks. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my ghost. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Seems fair. Ooh. Up against the wall. Straight there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do -do 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 -do. Ba -ba -ba. Little mopeds going down the street. Sorry. Do you can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Anything else? We can get you back up. Option sound. Get that done right. <laughs> Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Good thing I'm not thirsty. No, I don't even care. There's nothing underneath that. There. 
in the room when she liked. Nope. I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Time for you to lose the routine. Don't worry, buddy. I'll let you out. Either way, that always happens. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Not another casualty. of to the north right so straight to sunset nice and easy actually they definitely shoot that dude first or run it over the dude that's shooting at you from the alley and he got no problems afterwards
pretty much it for the House of Sticks. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole? Even with all that, still Valorous. Oh yeah. Anything else after? Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogue Boom, Weapons Company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogue Boom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! These people really do not like cold, do they? Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did! Yeah. <laughs> so, next time we'll continue on back as coal this time, I believe. No, 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 no. this one's Jack all the way through. So. The next one's the DLC case, then we get that one. Right, so we'll continue on next time we get back, and I will see you then.